What's happening, tubers? We're here at the shop. We'll come down to work on the Doomsday Machine project today. But um, didn't get a lot done. Got more parts taken off than put on, which is never a bad thing. As you can tell, I'm filthy. Been working. So has South Point. <laughs> and uh, one of the things we did accomplish is I got the C6 transmission off one of the engines I had out back. And I know this was a good transmission. I had driven the truck that it came from. It's from a 74 F-150 or F-100 two-wheel drive. Um, but it's set for a number of years. And I believe it'll be okay when we picked it up with uh, the crane. Um, only thing that came out of it was clean red fluid. And I haven't dropped the pan on it yet. But uh, I got a question for any of you guys that has transmission knowledge because I have none. And uh, here, I'll get the wife to film me and I'll show you. Here is my transmission. I hope you can see this because it's dark. And yeah, that's right. This is a C6 in the trunk of my Grand Prix. <laughs> <laughs> my pickup's at home. But over here, yeah, the linkage hooks up, you know, put it in gear. But here's the thing that disturbs me. Here's the kick down, and it pulls out. And it doesn't appear to be broken. And, guys, I don't know how it connects. Has it got some kind of a clip or something that holds it in there? I don't know. Like I said, I, I drove this truck in a driveway. I never kicked it into second gear, and I, I never took it up the road. Um, but I'm thinking maybe tomorrow I will pull the pan off from this thing and I need to get some of this grime off from it. You pulling that in my belly button? No. It's what it looks like. <laughs> Anyways, back on subject, guys. Um, uh, <coughs> you know, I just wonder if there's anything I can look for up in there. Um, how can I reconnect that? What's the deal there? Am I totally screwed? Can it be fixed? You know what I'm getting at. I mean, well, I was thinking, you know, maybe I'll have to drop the valve body out of it or something. And I'm a little afraid to do that because I've never done it. But uh, I know some of you guys know, um, I've seen firsthand that some of you have a lot of transmission experience. So if you could send me a message and help me out, I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, heck, while I'm standing here, I'll show you around the shop a little bit. Um, not a lot special going on here. We've got a bobcat. It's terribly handy when working on junk. Uh, this is one of our screeners. I don't know if you can see it in the dark. This is an X-Tech X3 S3 screener. We use to separate rock from coal. Good supply of oxygen and acetylene. We've got a Miller welder. Miller Matic. This little guy does pretty good. Wish it was mine. <laughs> Back there, that big monster, I don't even know. That's a Lincoln. That's a monster MIG. Got the cooling system on it and all that good stuff. That came from a bed shop where they actually made coal truck beds. And it will weld with a big fat wire. Torches. Got our welding table. Also very handy. That's why I like working here. I mean, we've got everything a man could want to work with. It's just a matter of finding it. Spare truck tires, which we go through a lot of. All this over here is mainly spare parts for our loaders. We've got four Volvos, uh, 150 loaders, and one of them's a 180 loader. Uh, not a whole lot more to show you. You know, parts cleaner. Um, generators, air compressors, mm, F-250, wish that was mine too, <laughs> it ain't, fuel tank off my Peterbilt I used to drive, it's setting up back totaled, one of our former employees drove it into a cliff and destroyed it, we also have a surplus plus of no good batteries. Yep, lots of bad batteries, but when you got me pieces of equipment as we got, you do that. All this is belt structure off of that S3. They're kind of rebuilding it. It's all beat up. It's been through war just about it. 
they're gonna make a good machine out of it it's still a good machine I had this really nice uh, hydraulic press here they started borrowing parts off from it yeah it was brand new it never been used it's still sitting there no hydraulics covered up with hoses useless the wife here says it didn't seem like we got a lot done today but it felt to me like we did so far we've uh, actually we've I got the motor mounts off from the blue truck um, it had a really really well built cross member under someone homemade and done a nice job I'm going to reuse it but it was a pain to get off my blue tipped wrenches over there helped a great deal got that off there uh, got a little aggravated because some unnamed person destroyed my power steering pump which was the only one I had and the wife here located one locally brand new well not brand new brand newly rebuilt for a really good price and went and got it for me lifetime with a lifetime warranty so I got that now they also destroyed my dipstick tube for my C6 and we went and got a universal one that I hope is going to work um, but anyways we grabbed all that and what else did we do we pulled that transmission off um, Fix the on your yeah my headlights wasn't working on my car and it was all in the dimmer switch and I got in there found the problem and I hopefully have cured it because it's dark outside and I'm gonna drive that baby home and sit here all week got a full tank of gas for the first time and since probably back in the 80s <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it <laughs> yeah so we got that fixed which is good I didn't come here for that but yeah her brake lights wasn't working on the cavalier on the cavalier listening lumina lumina of dumina um, I ain't got a lot to say I'm just making a really boring video but I haven't made one in a while guys and it's because I haven't been doing nothing I spent the last week in sitting in class for eight hours a day listening to uh, some real nice old guy but telling me how to mine coal and how to act when I'm on a mining operation which is good to know if you haven't done it for like nearly 20 years but guess what I have <laughs> but I had to do it now I'm legal in Kentucky Virginia and West Virginia which is the only three states I'd ever haul coal in anyway there ain't too many other ones that you can um, and other than that it's been work and blistering heat Jeez, it's been terrible. And cutting up trees. Yeah, we had a beautiful storm blow through. Totally filled up my dad's driveway with trees and uh, <laughs> covered up his roof with trees. And I know you can't see it, but nope, you can't see it at all. I don't know, I can't see it through this viewfinder, but sitting out there behind her car is our uh, 2003 Peterbilt. Good truck. Um, been driven by everybody that's passed through here I drove it one load the other day or was it no it's two loads and the darn thing shut down on me right in the middle of the road just quit and they said the engine locked up and I know it didn't but it's running now so I spent a whole day standing beside the road at about 110 that was just just great yeah sarcasm I'm sure you recognize it but I'm gonna get off here and go to the house and uh good talking to you guys please if you know anything about that transmission have any insight on it help me out i greatly appreciate it thanks